pager overview. This is the Apollo pager. The buttons on the front are the left and right arrow buttons, the pause button, and the power button. For programming, the power button will serve as your enter button. The pause button will serve as your number incrementing button. The arrow buttons will serve as your location selector. You will mainly use the right arrow button. Part two, pager programming. Grab your pager box and take the pager out of the box. In the box, you should have the following pieces. One battery, one pager and one pager case, and one chain clip. Take the pager out of the pager case, flip the pager over, slide the battery cover clips into the unlocked position, and then slide off the battery cover. To start programming, grab your battery and press and hold on the pause button while inserting the battery. Continue to hold the pause button until you get to where the pager is asking you for a password. You will use your right arrow key to move between each number and you will use the pause button to move the numbers up from zero. The password will either be 4002 or all zeros. If your pager boots up and says Arial, your password will be 4002 else it will be all zeros unless otherwise modified. Once you have your password entered, press the power button and that will move you on to the next section. Next, you will program the frequency for the pager. If you're not sure what the frequency should be, please contact us. Usually, you will leave the NB setting alone. Again, the pause button will move the numbers up and the right arrow key will move the entry position. Next, we'll program cap codes. The number on the left is the cap code order number. The next section is whether the cap code is on or off. And the next one is the actual cap code. Cap code number one is on by default and cannot be turned off. Program your first cap code, then hit the enter button to move on to cap code number two. Cap codes 2 through 9 can be on or off. If a pager has multiple cap codes turned on, it will receive pages for all of those cap codes. In this case, we program cap code number 2 and set it to be off, but we do this in case it needs to be moved to an area where cap code number 2 is used. Continue programming cap codes until you're done and then hit the enter key until you get to number 8. The next section you program will be baud rate. For the baud rate you have three options, 1200, 2400, and 512. Select your correct baud rate and then hit the enter key. Modify the password if you like, but be sure to note it down if you change it. Adjust the contrast if necessary, and then the pager will reboot once programming is complete. If the pager is not going directly into service, once it's done rebooting, take out the battery, replace the cover, lock the clips, place it back in the belt clip, put it back in the plastic case, and then put it back inside the box.